Hey guys, welcome to LaRock's Cooking Adventures. I'm today's host, LaRock. And today, guys, we're gonna make a simple marinara. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to the new subscribers. And shout out to the people who just stumbled across this channel and uh, decided to go ahead and watch it. Please like, subscribe, and share this content from LaRock's Cooking Adventures. Let's get started. <music> Okay, guys, what we have for ingredients is two 20-ounce cans of 28-ounce cans of Roma whole peel tomatoes. We have 14 ounces of diced tomatoes, two ounces of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of red crushed peppers, one teaspoon of salt, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of cracked black pepper, another tablespoon of dry oregano. We have two, four, six, eight pieces of garlic, which we're gonna slice thin. And we have some fresh basil, which we'll julienne. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do is slice this garlic. But while we're slicing the garlic, we're gonna take the oil and put it in our pan and get it uh, not really, really hot, but warm. We're gonna get it lukewarm so that it's just warm enough to saute off the uh, garlic. Okay, a lot of recipes out there, you'll, you'll Google or whatever, you'll see that they have uh, onions in their recipe. But we're not gonna use onions in our recipe because we wanna taste the flavor of the garlic. And you use onions in tomato sauce, okay? So don't, don't fall for those bogus recipes out there. You wanna slice these really, really thin. Now some people prefer to use crushed so if you wanted to do, use a crush, I like mine sliced for marinara so that you can actually see it. But if you wanted to have it crushed, what you would simply do is take a peeled piece of garlic. We'll use this end. Flatten it down. Oh, they use two pieces. Flatten it down with your blade and then cut it. Right? Like that. And then go again and then go again and then go again. Right? I am going to go ahead and use that though. I'm going to take this big piece out. Okay, I didn't use the last two because that looks like it's enough. That's probably about two tablespoons. Let's check it out. One, two, all right? So what you're gonna do is take your garlic and get it in your saute. All right, while that oil is heating up, we're gonna take a few leaves of the uh, basil. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is a quick way to uh, Julian basil. You just layer them one over top of each other, then roll it up like that. See that? Just roll it up like that. And simply just make small cuts. Julian chiffonade basil. Okay, fancy terms for saying sliced basil. Slice really fine, okay? Then just open it up like that. And that should be plenty for this recipe. It's nice and fresh. I can smell it. Mmm, it smells good. All right, guys, let's go over to the stove and get this thing popping. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add the garlic. Now, you just want to saute this until it gets translucent, which is like, kind of like a sea little color, okay? Like that. Boom. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our spices. We wanna get those cooked up. Cooked up. Like that, like that, like that. Okay, you guys see that? All right. The reason why we wanna add these herbs and uh, the spices now is because we want them to activate immediately. Now, we're gonna add our uh, tomatoes in shortly. Just let this saute a little bit longer, just a little bit more. Okay. That's about where you wanna go. We'll add the first 28 ounces of plums, Romas. Okay. 
like that. Then our second can, like that. Oh, she smells good. That garlic, mm -wee. Okay. Then we're gonna add in our diced, just to add a little bit of bulk. And this dice did have uh, garlic in it, so there's a little bit more extra mm. So what we're going to do at this point is bring this straight to a boil. We're going to let it boil for about 10 minutes, then we're going to reduce the heat, and then let it simmer for about at least 30 minutes. Alright, so at this point you want to raise your temperature, get it up, and bring this to a boil. All right, guys, this marinara is at a boil. Make sure you're standing over top of this uh, saucepan, okay? Because you don't want the bottom to burn. So we're just gonna let it boil for a good five to 10 minutes. Now, the key to a successful red sauce is slow and low temperatures, okay? We just wanna bring it to a boil, let it boil for a few minutes, and then simmer it the rest of the way out. We're gonna simmer this for maybe 30, 45 minutes possibly even an hour we'll check the texture at that point but you guys you guys see these uh slices of garlic in here this is why i don't like mine uh mints my garlic mints i like to see the slice you know what i mean you see what i'm saying so we're just gonna boil this a few more minutes and then let it simmer down and these tomatoes will start to break up a little bit and that, but that's also another reason why I added those uh, diced tomatoes. This is this is home style. Um, you know, we ain't doing it too fancy. Simple, simplistic, easy to follow, easy to do. So I'm just gonna let it boil for another two minutes or so, and then I'm gonna reduce that heat all the way down to low, like a number one low, and just simmer it out and let it rock out, the rocky style. You heard? All right, guys, we got this down to a simmer now. She already boiled. She's looking good. She's smelling good. I'm looking good. I'm smelling good. Just gonna add a uh, tablespoon of this here. Fresh basil. I'm gonna save the rest for later for a garnish for the picture of this finished product. Okay, boom. So that was just one tablespoon. And like I said, we'll save the rest for later. And guys, you know, if you watch this program, you know, I really don't have recipes because I never use them. I just know what goes in them and the, and the items that I make. So as I'm going through these, you know, more recently, I started uh, measuring this stuff out so that we could have a specific science to these recipes here on The Rock's Cooking Adventures. Now you see these tomatoes starting to break up. That's what you want. We're just gonna um, simmer this for 30 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer. That's 20, that's 30 minutes. Okay, timer's on and set. And we're just gonna let it simmer out and do what it do. Now, earlier I was talking about the onions. Um, if you look online, you'll see lots of recipes that say add onions. Well, that's not what you wanna do. It's really not. You don't, you don't want onions in your marinara sauce, okay? Where you want onions is in your tomato sauce, okay? So shout out to all those bad recipes out there. You want garlic in your marinara, okay? You want garlic and marinara, you want onions and fat back and tomato sauce, okay? So don't fall for those tricks out there, guys. Don't, don't do it. Now, if you like onions, okay, you can go ahead and put some in. But for real, for real, yeah, this don't need onions. Not at all. I, a lot of these recipes these days are all fluky. They just flakes. I, I don't know where these guys are getting this stuff from. They just, I guess, essentially. But yeah, no onions, okay? So again, like I said, we're just going to let this rock out for uh, 30 minutes. The time is set. And i uh check back with you guys. All right, guys. The 30 minutes was up. The timer just went off. I, I'm not really happy with this. I want to let it go a little bit longer. The temperature was on one for the simmer. So I just turned it up to number three and we're just gonna let it simmer for another 30 minutes. Now to avoid all that late time, um, you guys should set your temperature 
at two or three from the beginning. I went all the way down to one. All right. So, also, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stunt in front on you guys and, and mislead you. So that's why I'm telling you what exactly happened here. And um, when you guys are making soups and sauces, particularly sauces, you want to make sure you have a heavy aluminum pan, okay? Or pot. Whatever it is you're using, make sure it's heavy, thick, so that it doesn't burn your product. All right? All right. We're going to check back in 30. This thing will be done. Let me use this. See what she tastes like. Mm. Oh my God. That's money right there. Has a little kick to it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. I mean, technically, this, this would be done, but I'm more of a perfectionist, so I want it to go a little bit longer. You see how it reduced already from here to here? We're just going to let it go for a little bit longer on uh, number three, temperature number three. See you back in a minute. All right, guys, that second 30 minutes is up. Like I originally said, let me get this timer. In the beginning, you know, it's going to take 30 to 45 minutes. And um, I'm, I also said that, you know, a good sauce cooks for hours. So this is like the speed version. And it only being one hour cook time. Uh, looks good. I like the consistency a little bit better, so I suggest that you just simmer it on a uh, low number three to begin with, and then just let it rock out and do what it do. While it's simmering, you might want to, um, uh, you know, crush the tomato just a little bit. It depends on how you like your consistency. I think that's like absolutely beautiful and perfect. Um, let me go ahead and taste this sauce again. See what she's looking like. Mm. Mm. That is very good. That is very good. It has a nice little kick to it. So um, I suggest to you guys, if you're not one that's into, uh, I don't want to call it spicy, but you definitely can taste that cracked uh, pepper and those red, uh, red crushed pepper flakes. So if you're not that... Uh, that much into eh, I'm gonna call it spicy um you can either a substitute the cracked black pepper with just regular black pepper and or b cut the portion in half of the uh the red pepper and the cracked black pepper but to me this little kick this little kick that it's got going on right there that's perfect for me but again let me let me tell you it does have a kick to it so we're just going to turn turn this all the way off, take this off the stove, and wrap this shoot up, okay? Wrap this video shoot up. But this is it, guys. This is the money. This is marinara. Marinara 101. All right. All right, guys. Once you have your uh, sauce out of the saucepan, you want to just let it cool. Now, it's best to make your sauce two or three days ahead of usage okay you get it done you get it cold you sit in the refrigerator the sauce coagulates mingles with all the spices mingle they get them get to know one another here's some of that little bit of basil that we have all right now this would be perfect for something like a chicken parmesan or just some some sort of a pasta all right now this yielded two quarts there's two quarts of marinara sauce here. So I guess I'll shoot a video uh, in a few days with, uh, hey, there you go. Maybe I'll do a chicken parmesan, okay? Guys, if you like this video or if you like this channel, please subscribe, like, and share to La Rock's Cooking Adventures. I want to take a second to thank you all for watching this product and this program. Ciao.